your recipes, recreation, recipe recreations of my recipes. Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Veggie Rolls. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any more delicious food. And today we're going to be making some mac and cheese, spicy mac and cheese balls. These are going to be so good. You could actually make them non-spicy if you like. These are completely customizable. I'm also uh, frying these, but you can bake these 100% and they will be fine. I, I don't know what the 100% was. But anyways, if you guys make this recipe or any of my other recipes, please feel free to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see what you have recreated from the recipes that I am sharing with you guys. And yeah, so let's get veggie. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So first off, the first thing that you're gonna need is two cups of, or I should say I cooked two cups of macaroni pasta. So this is a lot more than two cups now once it's cooked, but you want to cook two cups of macaroni. And you're gonna need the following ingredients. And these are gonna be a lot more ingredients that I usually use in my recipes, but I promise you, you are not gonna regret making this recipe if you do make it. So the first thing that we're gonna be adding into our macaroni, our macaroni hasn't really cooled down. I pretty much just drained it just now. And next I'm gonna be adding in some tofuti cream cheese. You want some? Yeah. All right, so you want to add the whole thing of tofuti cream cheese, and I've let this, this soften. It's just been out sitting on my counter for about an hour or so. Next, you're going to go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Next, you're going to go ahead and toss in a fourth of a cup of chopped cilantro, and you want to finally chop all the stuff that's going in here, because once you start forming these into balls, you don't want anything like just shaping them and making them break apart. Next, you're going to be adding one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. You're also going to add uh, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And whatever you do, do not skimp on this ingredient. Definitely add this ingredient because this is going to add a ton of flavor into your mix. Then you're also going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Um, and then you're also going to add a fourth of a cup of plain breadcrumbs. You can do seasoned. I tried seasoned. I just prefer the flavor um, of the actual mixture on its own, which is why I'm using plain. I'm also going to be adding a fourth of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. You can do a fourth to a half a teaspoon, however you choose. I, I pretty much just like measure the cap of the thing, like almost halfway and then toss that in. I'm also going to be adding a fourth of a tablespoon, a fourth of a tablespoon, a fourth of a cup of, uh, what is this called, unsweetened almond milk. We're also going to add in, uh, I did four chopped jalapenos. This is where I said that you can customize it. You don't have to add the jalapenos if you don't like spicy. You could also do more if you want more spicy. I'm doing this, like the four is pretty much so that my kids can still eat it and it'll be a little spicy but not too much for them to handle. I'm also going to be adding one teaspoon of onion powder and half a teaspoon of paprika and then salt and pepper to taste. I kind of just eyeball it and taste it in the end. And you're also going to need a cup and a half, also eyeballing, a cup and a half of uh, some non-dairy cheddar cheese. I'm using Daya. And then you're going to mix all of that together. But yeah, so make sure that you mix in all of that uh, cream cheese. Also, you guys, the link will be down below for the full recipe. Um, you can also print that out there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven. But first, we're going to go ahead and oil our pan. I'm just using, like, a regular pie, pie pan or pie dish. Pie, yeah, pie dish. You can use a casserole dish, whatever you choose, but I just, I don't know why. I just put it in there, whatever. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in here, and then we're going to go ahead and put it into the oven that's been preheated at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, and then I will be right back. So this is what it looks like once you've taken it out of the oven. Okay, so I made the mixture of flour and water. This is basically like half and half flour and water, and you just want it to be... Um, that's going to help like bind your flour or your, uh, your breadcrumbs. You could do flour before you do um, the mixture 
of the flour and water, like if you want to roll it in flour first, like the way you would do when you're breading anything and you want to make it stick better. But I'm just going to do it like this and my hands are on fire right now, but it's okay. Alright, so I'm turning the macaroni and cheese in my hand, forming it into a little ball. And then I'm going to run it into the water and flour mixture, it's going to be messy. And then you're going to go ahead and toss it into the breadcrumbs, coat it all nicely in breadcrumbs, just like that. And then just to make sure that everything is still sticking nice and together, I just give it another quick squeeze. Alright guys, so this oil is on full blast, but you want to make sure that it's hot by dipping in a piece of macaroni and when it floats, that's when you know it's ready. It's floating, so we're ready to go. I'm going to take this out because it's going to burn if I have to take it out. I'm going to use one of these oil dipping thingies to toss our um, balls in there because last thing you want is like super hot frying oil splashing onto you. So I'm going to do three of these at a time just to make sure that no sticking happens and just to not overcrowd the oil. So keep an eye on these. These are going to be done really quickly. I'm going to leave them in for like another two seconds. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these because these are absolutely perfect. This is the color you want them. You want them, you want them to be a nice golden brown color. And then I'm going to just go ahead and place these onto a paper towel lined plate and continue to do the rest. So this is what you want these beautiful little balls to look like. I ended up with 20 and we're going to go ahead and open one up just so you can see. Look at that. That is just beauty. Alright guys, so it's time for the taste test cam. So I have half of one of these balls here drenched, not drenched, but drizzled with sriracha sauce because the sriracha sauce is like love to these. So let's go in. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my goodness. If you have a vegan food non-believer anywhere where you are, make them these and you'll be sure to change their mind. These are amazing. Or as some of you might say, Amaze balls. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be. Also, click on one of these videos if you would like to continue watching. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.